Years ago, we always had that center light in the middle of the room, and all of a sudden, hot lights came into our world. You know, it's enhanced lighting, it's beautiful lighting, light the picture on the wall, over the island, and there's a lot of pros and cons about pot lights, and I gotta tell you, I don't wanna see them in the attic, because you will have heat loss driving up, and not to mention, heat off the light itself going up into the attic space. We don't want hot and cold mixing in the winter. That's why if you notice and you watch Frank, we make sure we put it in bulkheads if it's close to an attic zone. Too many times I've seen homeowners hire a handyman to install pot lights. Before you drill any holes, before you do anything, we have to make sure we bring in the right people to run the wires properly. So we gotta make sure that we use the proper hole saw whenever you're putting in retro fit pot lights because the trim here is very unforgiving. There's not a lot of space. So you got to make sure to use the proper size hole saw for the right pot light. Then when you slide it in, you won't be able to see any imperfections. As you notice, there are a couple of different wires in here. And basically the other wire is just coming into this thermal cutoff. What ends up happening is the power ends up cutting through here. Whenever you've got too much heat built up inside this cavity, the thermal cutoff will sense that heat and turn the unit off. Saves the wire, saves the fixture, saves you from fire. Have you ever turned on your light and it's on for maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes and then it shuts off? And I'm talking the pot light. And then you think, oh, the bulb's blown. You turn the switch off, you come back, you turn it on and it comes back on again. That is the thermal cutoff. And that is a safety feature of a pot light, which means it's getting too hot and it's gonna save you from causing a fire. I've actually had cases where I've gone into the pot light and found the thermal cutoff removed when all they had to do was change the bulb or there could have been a problem with the wiring on the end, which would have caused some extra heating. So if you do have a thermal cutoff, first you check the lamp. If that doesn't fix the problem, call an electrical contractor. So some of the better pot lights will actually have a UV rated glass that's inside the trim here that's pre-installed on the actual fixture. The only time that you use this glass is if you have a lamp that doesn't have the glass. So this one clearly has one. The reason you remove them is because the heat generated from this lamp will bounce off of that glass, reflect right back up, causing the lamps to burn out prematurely. I'm a big fan of pot lights. I'm a big fan of lighting, and I call it choice lighting, under cabinet lighting, pot lights, middle lights, and I want to see a variety of lighting. But it's not as simple as everyone claims, and I want to tell you something. You do need a permit when it comes to electricity, and let's look at it on the other side of the fence. If the wiring is done wrong in your house for all your lighting, and it causes a fire, well, that could not only burn your house down, it may harm someone in your family. And that's why we have these laws in effect. Pay attention to it.